there are a few reasons you're actually not having a constant cleaning contract and those reasons i just feel number one is you're not acting for referrals you're actually not telling your friends your family your folks to refer you to their friends and friends of friends who might also need your business or might also need your services your product number two thing is that you are hiring wrongly when you hire a bad hand a bad team a bad label into your team it will definitely not bring in a new customer yet because they're coming in with their bad vibes and bad energy and this extends to your customers who may not be open to tell you that oh that's your staff that's your team member that your label that your janitor is not delivering number three thing is bad critics or bad feedbacks when you have a bad critics it can be demoralizing weird i have been in that class but how do you handle your critics how do you handle your feedbacks you don't take them with sympathy or with empathy right you treat it as a normal b2b criticism you don't take it to heart number four thing is you're not working on your feedbacks when you receive a feedback endeavor to work on it this will make you to gain more customers number five thing is retention you are really not retaining your old customers you are busy looking at ads to do you're busy looking at what to do to gain the new customers but the new the old ones you're really not taking care of them how should you take care of them i've done a video on how to actually make your customers feel loved so make your customers feel loved make them to feel that it's not just about the money they are giving you make them feel that oh you are here because you have a solution to the problem they have and you show concern that you care about them that's the way you retain them there are a whole lot of things and a whole lot of tips to do to retain your customers number 16 giving out way too discounts you're giving out way too much freebies you're giving out too much freebies and discounts this old customers or customers or prospects will just hold on till you have next freebies or next discount to do before they will come and in that case you're not getting a back-to-back -back customers coming in except you do a freebie and this is really not healthy for your business it's not really healthy for your cleaning business the number seventh thing is um, you lack word of mouth do you know that the best ad you can actually do is a word of mouth telling a friend reintroducing yourself and your business and your brand to your friends to your colleagues to your folks to your family members even in your local assembly let people know what you do reintroduce yourself do a word of mouth oh this is what we do this is what we represent we are clean brush we are a detailed cleaning vendor let it be sounding in their ear day to day that this is what you do not when they will outsource your supposed deal or supposed cleaning contracts to someone else you will not come and be frowning face and be making face to them like oh but you know i didn't do this thing now how would i know oh, you didn't tell me or you did not reintroduce yourself to me oh i thought you were still in your formal probably nine to five business oh i thought you were still doing whatever do you get so learn to reintroduce yourself learn to establish the fact that this is what you do now this is what you stand for the other point is your belief you actually believe that everyone around you knows what you are doing at this spirit you need to call their attention to a particular thing you're doing let them know that this is the service you render now this is the product you're rendering at this very now at this very moment carry your business your brand on your head hawk it like like gala hawk it like gala in lagos traffic carry it on your head like cooler of jollof nigerian jollof rice these sheets let them know don't assume that they know don't come and assume that oh you put no i'm clean brush now you put no that i'm secure because i want to clean the thing no learn to carry your business on your head hawk it wear it on a day-to-day -day basis don't believe that everybody knows or everyone knows what you do. Learn to say it out. Learn to blow your own trumpet. The number. The last but not the least on this category is bad debt. Hmm. Bad debt can actually make you want to have cleaning contracts coming in. Bad debt could be you picking up a loan from. A financial institute or, or, or wherever to actually source or, or finance your business bad loan bad debt can also come from you not properly managing the finances that's actually coming in into the business you are getting you are not separating your seed from your 
bread, you are getting this earning, you are not reinvesting the finance in this cleaning business, in your business. You are not reinvesting. So bad debts could come either back, forth, left and right. And whenever there is a bad debt, the business won't thrive. This is a bonus for you. Do you know that if you do the, do the right thing on this stuff that I've said now, you will be getting a back-to-back -back cleaning business.